We're also going to see some colored maps that are represented by the pieces. And that is what might be there. It's what the city thought was a good idea for a layout of clothes and smart growth. But the truth is, the government will throw the city out there. It's a piece of land that's going to be low density residential. So then it sees it means, hmm, this is a land that's for a shopping center. There's a process for them to kind of change the general with the economy and go through the process and maybe to the child's okay? So we are at the way early stage of all this. Right, so which three lines are we talking about? So we have already done one for folks having the first one on the shepherd to be on. The other ones we're going to talk about are the remaining major roadways in the Heritage Road. And we keep saying Heritage Road, you might ask what is that's an area that is generally bound by Willow and West, Sunnyside and East, Shepherd to the South, Copper to the North. And all these red lines on the map on the screen here, those are the different plan lines that we're going to to keep the nearest growth. This next slide shows the one that we've already done with group multiples with black and yellow. That's the first mile there of close out of the So we went through a very similar process with a couple of meetings and then and then took it to council and they blessed it. It's going to town for supervisor. Um, I don't have a complete one on that yet, but it's probably just under the framework. Next slide this is the first one I'm going to dive into here. The extension of clothes have all the way up to top. This cross section is an artist rendering of what clothes might look like in the medium, two lanes in this direction, bike lane. Sidewalks, landscaping, and a trail on some of the beaches. This is another section of Close Avenue. These are coming from the Heritage Grove specific map. Okay. The next slides that I'm going to show you are a little bit more detailed. Hopefully, you can see them on your screen right here. Today. Maybe this week or maybe. I'm going to go also a little bit right now. There's a lot of those in there. The thoughts that went into our layout. And again, this this is our first shop. What was happening? Not the last design. We're here to invite your input. What would you have to say? Kids, you know, hey, I like this idea, but you know, I think that sucks. Yeah, whatever you feel comfortable with. But we want your own speaker and we're going to choose put it all together as best we can. We find what we think is the best fit. So we've already met with folks in the public. We need the collective district, there's a irrigation district. We've met with large landowners and developers and all the general public. And the reason those meetings were divided up like that is that it's just that's their own special interests. We try to get a group of them together so that it would certainly to be less power. Okay. That way people would have the freedom to uh, teach you to be able to speak about some of the concerns. And they, they give us the feedback from us that not all the people know so the public for the security issues you might have. Okay. So this is really. What I thought would be an ideal way to get everybody to have a chance to speak to their language, not like the language of the Jews. We'll get another section of Clovis. This will show the international to the far right, and the increase of the to the far left. This is the international to the far right. As we keep going to the right, we can't do 
Jesus' name. The next thing life has been copper. Copper has a lot of things in the existing power lines, there's existing roadways, first of all, existing roadways to, to the east of the county. So we have a lot of different barriers that we have to tie into. So in these other roads, we have a lot more freedom to, to move the road around to the to move the kids to the territory. This homes, whatever. So the section here, you'll see the power lines. This is probably one of the biggest things that we're both getting on the top of our The existing power lines as they come from Fresno and the world ends, they are not moving. They are not going on the ground, they're going to be moving. So just like you've seen the Fresno side of Will Bill with our post in the beginning. They're going to stay the way as close as will be top of the east of the So here's a cross section. This is will on the far left, and we move to the east. We are now at Albury. And then we move further east. We then jump to the closest avenue alignment in the further east, and we start having to then tell them to get to the time. So, with that, another plan that we're going to talk about tonight is. This is what the typical section looks like between Will and Peach. Peach to Clovis, Clovis to Sunnyside, and then the more detailed street piece here. So we go again on the far left, and the friends to the east, in front of some of the holes. To teach and ask some more of the homes, ask the new wall, the close area wind and crossing over the grass into the east, and now we're starting back to the man on the reason. Oh, just pass it. Sorry to make it black. And again, we have to tie into the existing town room, and there's some hard calls again that are going to live it. Oh, the same side is going to live it. Next, let's see. Now we're going to look at International and Main Hall. And this is really, really, really cool today. Uh, see, clothes coming in an International Main Hall connection. Two very unique streets, close to this area. So, close to the only thing to do there was you're trying to move the city to the street. If there's a name in the city, you wanted to look into it and just stand out. And we also wanted to be the main door of the street that's involved in the community and all the way in the area. There is a lot of ice cream shops, a lot of volume in the mall. And so, what we intended to do is to put some of that traffic that basically covered the national. Very old, close down and connect basically the more water down all the way to the mountains. The device and the experience all the way to the boats, all the parks, all the way to the centers, residential developments. So that poses some challenges for us on the actual model. What we've done with that is we're coming to the next level. We want to connect the beginning here to the south. We want to connect up to close more and see community colleges to the northwest. So this is this is really a unique street. Normally you see the median, you see elements, you see five lines on the side. In this case, we have separated the community comfortable. It is 
Right there. This is the light path. Which is separated from the road and then the even trail. This is the So again, what we're going to do is kind of encourage some of those organizations that all are on We're trying to encourage some of the guys who have some of the messages. And just some connection between the two different entities, two of the different education sites in the North Park Fields. So this is what an international looks like. And those of you that are familiar with the area, you know, this signal is rebuilt. We have the church to the north, and then we have some standard pieces of land between the international and the university. And then we're going to continue east. We've got a lot of the homes who come past the beach behind it. And you see that on this map, it stops. Because the next slide is we're going to show you one possible scenario of the international. And we all have a chance. The only exercise I want to show you tonight is a draft. It is not a talented final version. This is just representative of the planning vision that was going on with the stone for the last couple of pictures. But we get to put to the, the plan engineering. Okay, so the next part I'll show you is just this this is uh, really a unique situation here. Okay, the cross section of international law and now the aerial thing. So there's a couple different things that we're, we're trying to do here. But one, we're trying to discourage some of the traffic going north of international. We really want to the traffic to lower the wall and get through This causes some concerns because you have this land right here at the corner that is handy because you by the way school. If you think about kids, and especially elementary age kids, not necessarily watching out for cars as it's adults, right? So one thing we have is a roundabout to slow traffic. But that means traffic doesn't stop, which is a concern for the school district that they will they will prefer a travel stop sign or a school traffic does stop. So even though we've got a drawing like this, and this may not be the final version. It also begs some questions about some of the different pieces of land that get left here. Like, what do we do with that? How do we connect to the wall from the north? Do we connect right there? Do we make it drop over more? And a whole lot of questions that are yet to be answered. But again, looking for some ideas and some input. Next, I'm going to go through some slides to show you all. And then I'm all of a sudden going to go back and begin to start start this dialogue. So we're going to modify this one. And then we'll start opening it up. Again, just to reiterate the, the cross section of the wall. And now here are some aerial views. We have a starting at the national to the right. Crossing over your price to the left. And you continue south of Enterprise, coming through the Behammer Line, continuing south to Perrin, south even further down to Shepard. And again, we have existing signal lists there, so we've got some locations that are important for Latin Sand, so to speak, to you know, decide where our list of signal is going to go. All right, so th th this is a tentative timeline for uh, for a So we're starting with the first round of public meetings. Okay, and then once I get your feedback, we're going to refine these exhibits. We're going to do a 
information with the city. We've got an alpha internal. We'll go back out for public comments. Might have some more meetings. I don't know. Just stay, you know, ready to live, watch your email, and check the website every once in a while. Just that'll be updated from time to time. We'll get to a point where we decide, yes, this is the best design that we can think of. And then we're going to start a survey and continue to track it out. And then we have to do some environmental work. That's part of the, the process that has to go through for all families. It is under environmental laws. It's all about projects. So I have to evaluate what the impact this project has. When we get this point, there's no construction goal. It's just committing that this is where the district is going. Okay. So if we can keep this timeline somewhere by mid-2021, this is all good. Then no construction has started, we just decided that this is where I want to The question was, what is the expected level of environmental people? Honestly, I don't know. I didn't know what the folks are having, and I think it was, I don't remember, but I can definitely get back to it. If there's things that come up, this timeline can change. It's what's cool. There's nothing just in so My only goal is to be ahead of okay. And so some people ask, well, what's the rate of development? We can expect it to collapse. Depends on who you ask. Depends on the answer you're going to give. Okay. Some developers would say that moving north of Shepherd, that we're going to see um, every half mile develop in five years. So that would say a parent. In five years, we have an intent in the national 15 for climate. That's when developers best guess. We, we don't know. Well, I get the structure of the thing. Here we go. Okay, I like that information. So, we need John Smith. That's my phone number, my direct line, my direct email. Feel free to use either of them at any time. Some other people that are heavily involved in this, from the very top, we have a circle city manager, our whole assistant city manager, Brittany Mathis, the interim director of planning about services, which is the division that I'm a part of, and then my boss, my care center. And then you just look up a little reminder about. The whole heritage grove area, so that the land uses correspond to the colors and the roadway. So, again, this is on a specific plan, it doesn't mean it's set in stone, it's just what we think is the you know, graceful planning practice and experience. We think it's a, it's a big thing. Yeah, developers in the market will try it. Okay, so. I'm going to stop there and go back to the beginning. And if possible, I'm just going to go through systematically. If we have questions on these, uh, we'll start with Clovis Avenue. So I'm going to open it up, see if there's anybody online, and see if there's anybody here. Well, let's put some more phone or ask questions and we can. Okay. I am George Spano, I live on the same of the talking here, what has happened to me on the last 20 years the of the One of the big things that I think that is big to me is there's no room on international that people are just talk about doing questions if you have it. You can't run two school buses down that road side by side. Years ago, it was agreed that they was going to build a road from Willow to Minnewawa, close to Beehiver, 
that was going to be the traffic from the school that was on Willow. So get the traffic off of international. You're putting it back on there. Why? The questions are about um, a lot of traffic on Minnewall and International. I don't know if you want to add more than my folks are um, concerns about the members that were in the past not being represented by this item and what was once said to be a trying to get traffic on being hired to defer to Alpha International. Now, this plan is putting the traffic back on the International. Why are we going to do that? The um, road that they agreed to put on it, they already gave the name. John Beer Popper. That's what they went that far to say it's got to be we're going to put the world there and get it all in the national. What happened to John Beer Popper? Yeah, John Beer Popper. I'm sorry, I don't know about that. That was for me and you know, I can find out when I see. But what we have here does represent um, General plan that was finished in 2014, and there was a specific plan for after that that did make the changes that you're talking about. You're right, but John Deere is not there anymore, and international is a much bigger roadway. And you're right, we are going to have to take it down international. Yes, I have here with international. I think it's going to close for it. So I know exactly what you're talking about. There are stretches there that it's as high as that means to me. You know, to the two Yeah. It, in, your right, in order to build, in order to build a lot of these buildings, we have to have small projects. Just as I said, and the line is so close that we can take the yards of there might be homes that developers buy in the demo and make room for That's all stuff that. This is exactly the purpose of this meeting to get your feedback and what are the concerns? And you, you make a very good point that taking those properties, taking those homes, that is very costly, um, destructive, it, it changes the lifestyle out there. It could be a lot of that, right? Again. So in other words, what you're saying, what they were talking about 20 years ago, 15 years ago, Ten years ago, when they were concerned about the people that lived there, that they was going to not try to encroach on their property. Now we don't care about that. All we want to care about is to do what we want. And you, get what we're going to what you're going after. I mean, look at what you've done to work. You've already decided to put a school on the street that nobody, nobody, a mini wall or international behind them. Or any of that area knew about until you put the word on the window of the school here. You're talking about the close to the I thought I pointed out. Is that the one? The one in the international? Yeah. The yeah. And I don't know what control the city has or anything on that to dictate more close to the wants to put the schools in the conversation with the city. I have a lot more questions. Is it possible for you and I or somebody to sit down one-on-one -on -one to have a meeting to talk about what was agreed to in the past and what was changed without giving us any notice? Sure. It's most of it's all. I'll go to the back of the meeting. Thank you. Okay. I have cards in case you want to make an example. So, two, as a way to hold you, text me, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very quick. This is a, this is a start of the dialogue. This is not the end of the conversation. Sorry, I raised the question. Um, uh, well, for those people who speak to the microphone, I'll try to be so we can hear or we can hear online because I don't recognize that. It's also, I don't know. 
get a plan, not to change the zoning or the, the build maximums for any of the areas that are already established. In other words, don't take something that's four to seven and move it seven to twelve. Please try and stay, because I know that happened at Romans. We heard it from so many people. Please try to work with the developers to maintain what was identified in that general plan. Please. Thank you. That's very good information to pass on to particular. And it's good information to pass on to our elections as well, because they need to find a position on that. So I don't why did we leave the plan for those 10 years? Well, council was involved in that, that plan as well. And there are certain ones that they want to stick to. And when they listen to the council meetings with the plan addresses, we spent a lot of time on this plan. This is a good plan. Why do you need to be proud of it all? Well, so they have to evaluate when the developers come and the market is changing for whatever reason they can do, whether it's also has to get rid of value it. But in the end, they're going to make the final decision. So I will pass that on to them. And the okay. council did approve all of that. You're right. They did. Yeah, they did approve it. They approved it. So we're expecting them to hold the chair. I don't want to stick up for the developers, but it's also the state and they cut out. It's really the state that's going to get this one. Which is all I want. Do you want to put it in the microphone? You want to put it in the microphone? No, my question will be on the microphone. Thanks, John. Um, I'm curious about the school size. Can you have a slide with your call for school size? Because on this sheet, it's supposed to be white blue, and I don't see white blue or international and in all of this. And I thought it was the schools, and Mr. Rikini's big square or everything. You're right. So, we just make up and talk about where are the school sites on the slide? And the one that I mentioned, I can point to it. All right, there is not listed as a school site in the legend. So, I wonder, well, is Sean lying to me or what? Well, what's going on here? Well, when this was developed, that was not where folks knew how to envision their school. Since then, they have changed their mind and they have decided, I think they've actually bought that property. Did to be no empty site there on the, the southeast corner of the International Union Wall. Now, there's another school site, and I don't know exactly where, but it's in this corner here between the beach, being Wall, Shepherd, and the Herring, somewhere in the suits. Those are the two that I know of. On, on your on your drawing, street photo drawing, there's one that's designated uh, off of Beheimer, just on the side of the FIT Enterprise. Uh, on slide 10. Slide 10. That's all the trouble I'm going to have. Okay. There we go. Uh, the school. Okay. The corner of the corner. And the school is so bad. Who said the back of the wall? Right there, right now. So, there are close avenues in the this rectangle. It is, it is color blue. Yes. 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 Yes.
words that uh, expect that we can preserve our property, preserve our way of life, preserve our homes, realize property take. You know, you're going to big and you just do small homes. Deal with my traffic, but don't make your roads in front of my house. <laughs> it, it, it is what I expect to hear. Okay. The feedback that I want. So, you can come up. If you're online and you have to have a question, go for your use of chat feature, or there is also a feature in the easier to move, and we can see you in the middle of the seat. Is there 
Okay, so we have to teach the focus. We expect that with this for me. Now, the will be right several as well. We're going to have a mid-law So if we can close on Sunnyside, we do not expect to have a physical medium. We expect to have a continuous electronic spot. So you've got a fatal return left and right or across. Definitely a medium where you can't always make it like they are left out. So again, okay, that, that's a tiny technique, but we expect that there's going to be higher speeds, higher volumes. We've got four lines here too, so we can start reading from that. Uh, what is uh, the uh, 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 speed? If we put a medium turn on uh, just so you can turn it up or right, uh, we'll just stop people from using that as a table. I mean, they're, they're doing it right now. Sometimes I try to make turns in my house, and one time they try to pass them over the last time I was turning. <laughs> well, if, if, if we might be politically correct, we can't decide to shoot it. I think that's it's illegal to do that. and. It's going to take enforcement. You know, all the people have a license to move along. It's a problem. It just doesn't happen all the time, unfortunately. Any more questions? Thank you. Um, I, I'm looking at page 47. And I'm curious as to uh, the layout point in the room. If there won't be any items in the middle of that street, correct? Right, so any wall that goes this cross section, I'll go back a few slides. This section here where it's two lanes. With the continuous uh, training down there. Yes. No physical medium. Okay, and where you cut the block channel and whatever is that being shown based on the east side or the west side of the wall? It is on the west side of the wall. So, can I picture where the pin campus is? On the west side of the wall. So the thought behind this is that we're going to separate the bicyclists and the pedestrians to be able to get the road from the cars and to have a connected pathway that takes them from the pin up along the west side of the wall and then, and then train them along the south side of the national and directly to the state center. Okay, so. For those of us who have driveways on that west side of the wall, there will be access between these trees and whatnot so that we can pull out. There's you will have access. Because some of us have some of us have 38 foot properties. So the
like a sort of curb and gutter. And there's the sidewalks on the side, strange people with athletes separated from the road because they want to have a walk around or whatever. But <laughs> it, it's not going to look like this. Okay, that's a lot. That was our, I didn't see a walking for that section. I think you make a very good point. There's a there's a lot of rules here that are not spread. So all we're talking about tonight are the, the major movements. There are going to be many, many of our local roads. I would just think of what Lenar is doing down here and what Wilson is doing out here. There's a lot of roads that are not shown. Yes, I yeah. And those are tended to be local roads, which are just narrow parking on the sides. There's no straight down the middle, you know, you know, 36 to 40 feet strip of curve in the sidewalk kind of the sides. That kind of thing. And then, so I, I think one of your concerns is the driveway. You know, how do we make a driveway across? Yeah. We don't have anything like that. There's not like us. I just have one comment and a question or a suggestion. I personally, you know, although none of us are required to increase traffic in our neighborhoods, and it's probably going to be a while, I, I really impressed with the and I love that we can do that heritage world um, um, section on the website that just shows just the plants and the trees and the buckets on them too. So, who goes to that? Keep looking on that. That's wonderful. Um, um, we did a lot of international items on the bottom. And I guess one of the things that suggestions are um, made because, because um, there's already a lot of traffic going on, and it's been a lot of conversation about schools and the safety of this time. We're real concerned about kids. Talking, you know, in the one side of the road and then in the middle of the other, and it doesn't work like this one, and it doesn't work like that one. So, whatever you can do to create a slower pace on that would be wonderful. Personally, I'd love to see everything up on the Corpus Avenue and everything. We've got, you know, on Corpus Avenue from Herndon and the Council of School Fair, and it comes to the Red Flag Fest. That's the I would really love to see that again as a part of season one here this year. If, if it could occur a little bit and we can just have one because it just has a genuine, friendly world to go around. Um, yeah, I I know there's going to be a lot of but I also love everything that's going to be added to it. There's a lot of libraries and it's going to be a busy street, there's going to be more traffic, and that's going to be a lot of stuff. I I second what Carol says. I'm trying to look at better um, and, and I know that she had mentioned about uh, if the curves could be taken. Uh, or to go more into where we have open land across from each section of homes there on the ground. It would take less of our front yards. Uh, it would be nice to be able to have those curves. We, right now we have a speedway. It goes from Clovis uh, North. And if we're going to have an elementary school to end there, I mean, I mean already we have people that grab their cars and go, we see them in my house. Go down the road, and um, and the curves really would slow that down. They might end up sliding into our homes, but 
it would be better, you know, if we could just have some support for So, this extension of closed avenue material, parts that you see, that's the limit of what happened further to the south. Those are the same, nearly the same radiuses, and we wanted it to be the same or close to the same field. That's why you have our homes and people spaces on them. So to do that for international, just it would wiggle. Did some of that? I know you could obviously want me to address it. You know, you could do that. You're going to stop here, but yeah, we could definitely talk about doing some wiggle. And um, one of the sections that I just mentioned that isn't in this presentation is this other bike roadway. That's that's another unique section to the area where that's going to be a part and it all no need to do in the clothes but we're putting our flag in the sand and saying this is going to be a unique spot we recognize that we have a lot of bike traffic through this area and we want to do something that's going to enhance that in this area. so yeah there's, there's lots of thoughts to maybe my bicycle I think the fact that there is one hand up here at the corner, um, my hand's a little shaky, but there, there's there's a missing up there. So when people like to buy other those crazy things, I said, that's the biggest there. Oh, nuts. And so I've heard a lot of people um, place a little bit of refuge in this water, fix the flats, and increase the results. I don't well, want to give us enough time and space for questions, but I don't want to consume your nights either. So I recognize all of us took an hour more than a crazy schedule to come here for a little bit of time. So if you have more questions, we'll keep going. Hi, yeah, I have a question. So why is Mini Wall being changed? Not being scared to shot all the way to the top. Anyone want to talk about that? Yeah. Why that change? Because right now it's a nice road. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go to the, the cross section here? And sorry if the question was already asked. I had tried to catch the webcast, but it wasn't working. So I was able to make it. Well, just want to thank you for coming. Um, the thought behind that was to. There's a lot of traffic on the wall. There's a lot of traffic on the reaction. And I'm not being on the You know, he has a food. Yes. <laughs> and to, to, keep those lane, to keep those roads two lanes, it's just not going to handle the traffic that we expect from the road. They need to be changed. And the thought behind changing just a section from Shepherd to International. And not the section of international copper is we want to draw the traffic away from that section. We want to actually let me go back this way. We would like the traffic to go to close down the street of Paris and the city. We want to get uh, an experience of moving from south to the north of town. And if we write in any more, it's People will just keep following their own habits, right? For those who keep going that way. So there was, there was a lot of uh, opinions to the people in the neighborhood about we got to do something about that track. So this was our attempt to do so, to keep our international stretch as a local road. So we detract some of the traffic. We go over, and the traffic is a main wall, it's in the turn of corner. You know, we can reach out between the two school campuses. Uh, we're calling it an educational I think that's what this I chose. So, academic. What's this 
Um, where this is obviously different, and uh, the developer has just big in hand. Okay, it's it's hard to know at this point what's just going to be more expensive, easier. Uh, it's always easier to have a developer um, choose to do a project that you're required to dedicate the land than it is to tell a homeowner that we're going to buy this from. <laughs> That's always because she's one of our neighbors that just walked in, checked in, and I think we're all just looking at. I know we might be in all these places, but we're all looking at when it gets taken from our property. Our yards are going to be like so tiny, and we're going to have so much traffic and so much noise. For instance, we could preserve our yards, and from each one of us on international, we have a very lot of and that's why we were really hoping that you could curve that road. And it is a really, really nice uh, design. You don't mind that. It's just you plug the system first and there's some more traffic and, and push those, uh, push the roads over to their land. Those are very hard. So the question of the comment was about trying to preserve the existing homes, existing yards, but the road was on the way to the end. You know, on these slides, it's hard to see on the screen, and maybe it's hard to see online, but if you go on the PDF, it helps you know, a little bit more. And if you look at the exhibits here, it's not the one I'm showing you. Yeah, I'm going to show you the So what we have tried to do is locate the structures that are available. Yeah, that's it. And try to dimension roughly how far those homes are from the property line. So it's a little hard to see here on the screen, but I'm highlighting some text that's here. And what that's indicating is that you know this, this street, if, if we did it just straight. What could that dimension be from the front of it? From your front door to the right of the line. Okay, so that shows you just, we got our work cut out for us. It's, we're going to put this on the 13th of the street, yeah, it's not so It's fine. Yeah, it would be smart to work with, like, give some character so if you're going to take that into consideration and try to do that. The question is what jurisdiction you're right now. So, if you're going to do this, you're so going to have to find the house to see. The annexation is going to be a little bit more than the annexation. Currently, for close north of Shepherd, only includes. The Lenar tract that's in the way when it comes to highlighting just a little generally here. And then it also includes Wilson. So that is the only property north of Shepherd that's within the city of Phillips. Everything else is in the town of Brazil City. You're in what's called the city of Phillips sphere of influence, which means we, we have some say in the land planning. As far as permitting for your personal property, that goes to the county still. Sorry, my mental seems to work. This generates those areas inside the sewer is that the ones that have faults. Is that then the annex privacy? They're asking time of annexation. Yeah. Um, so the county has definite development standards. So your developers are visiting the county. You have to do uh, two acre parcels or bigger. Those are city lots. You have to do the standards. So the developer wants to do the quote unquote city development. Yes, so they're going to have to annex. And the leapfrog 
you know, and they just come out here in the, in the middle somewhere. No, it's going to be really hard. There's processes for um, smart growth, smart expansion of the city, continuous expansion of the city. Okay. So you can expect that the city will either grow around these or it's going to grow north of Shepherd. That's where it's going to start. So your property will be higher. It's going to take a little while for the city to get I did for expanding the city. and prioritization. So the city can do more. We can do a projects, which the earn one. Six months, but it was five years to this okay. That's the kind of speed that you know, all of the regulations that the city has to go through. Developers, honestly, development will drive the growth of the streets. Okay. If there happens to be, you know, the school plots like Close East, if you Think back to the close East Coast. They had to build infrastructure in the way services for sewer and water and streets. They just weren't there. The streets were way too narrow. But folks, you know, I decided to build um, that, that new model national school where they had a street to We're going to work with them. We're going to take a look at what the city services are, where the streets are, where there's a small circulation across town. And then it's all about that report with probably a lot of public meetings as well. It's not the point. Exactly what streets get built in one. Now, some of you might you know the close mark on the state campus. One of the distinguishes was Will is going to be built out before day one. Right? It didn't really happen. It's been there for a bit, almost a decade. It just went to the road. So sometimes our, our practices work really good, sometimes they're a little slow. We, we try to be on the good side of the dog. Well, it's kind of a lot of willow. There are sewer lines and water lines in. So developers can go ahead and bring the panel in that, correct? The question was because of the city and the police are involved in development, so yeah. they don't have the answers to that, but the developers have asked that question because there are quite a few property owners uh, that are interested in doing this, this purple. Yeah. It's a, they, they asked that very question, but they're going to have to come into the city. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to develop in the county for the city organization. Well, I mean, and I understand that, oh. like, okay, so if everybody wants to this up and go further forward, can McCaffrey pick up higher up because the lines are there because you're across from the schools, or does it have to be systematically annexed up going north? Yeah. So the question is, does the annexation have to be continuous or can it be spotty, discontinuous, whatever um, terminology you want to use? That's the very question that's being asked of this agency called LAPCO, or the local agency formation commission. They're a group that really oversees the growth of districts and how is the district going to change? Don't have the answer to the question for you, but don't remember. I'll try to get that to you. Don't see it, get that to you. That's one of the very questions that the developers are asking. Um, because, like you said, there's some refugees looking at developing, but then we have the McCaffrey family somewhere up in here. Right. Can they develop there without 
all of them will be developed. I hope that based on best practices, the answer would be no. Yeah, because it's supposed to be since the line is in. How many feel it that really is set Is there still going to be a transit location <coughs> south or in between international and international? Is that the bus transfer or some transit station? Is that still in the parts of what we need? Transit station, I, I don't know this one. I think about that, I have to look into it. I just don't know. Yeah, I think As the as the city annexes the sections of the store, and are we going to be offered the same annexation agreement that I tried to preserve in the East West area? As cameras and city using that rural. And keep our wells in our facilities. Good question. Uh, and I don't have an answer uh, for that annexation agreement. You might be preserved something that also is to the competition and work with the city on it. It wasn't offered by the city. So I would just suggest that if that is still so important to you at that time. That when you're asked to be part of the organization, that you bring it up. More questions? We're getting on 730 here. I don't want to take all your time and selfishly on your own. So I'll say if you have more questions. Only one last question, then we'll wrap it up. This here water facilities there will be water storage tanks in the original three D wells. The well um if you know the hospital that we live over, the water tends to come from the north and travel southwest from the ground. The ideal location for any wells in this development are nearest to the well. That's where we have the best offer part. It gets really handy and hard to find as you go up the hill. There is and um I think somewhere in this area to be one water source. And then over here by the Jimmy substation, the other water source that will help. Um, so the, the wells and the source use will help the, 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 the flow of the water system, the pressure of the water system. If you're keeping track of some of the water needs, you might be able to turn the stigma to say, well, we water management act. Um, so the wells, you're staying on it. We are legislated that we cannot draw all our people back in. Okay, so that's why there's only three wells here and our government is back. We've been working for years to less than our opinions on groundwater. We made some good studies. I don't remember exactly what the percentages are. We're starting to see the world surface small. We're drawing water out of the breast canal, treating it, putting it in the system, and really only allowing the wells for the water. We have plans for a second um, service water treatment. That will take water out of the front and we connect it to and that will strengthen our ability to use surface water less on our and seeding groundwater. And then, as such, also less in how much we're impacted. Those low residents that still have wells. Okay. That's been a long standing concern of low residential homes. Our plan is to not draw the water out of the ground. So I think it's within the next couple of decades, 
just if you were going to be shifting the other way, the majority of all our smoking surface water, seventy percent depending on surface water, and only thirty percent the wells are back. These are more questions than I'm not even going to go. Well, I'm going to wrap this up tonight. I want to thank you for joining online. And thank you for those of you who are listening. And this is not the end of this. If there's more questions, we need to make phone calls or take some of your questions. And we'll see these either all. Feel free to bookmark our website if you book it back there. Our most more information is available. Um, just want to wrap it up to see. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Good night.